Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. In this beam there is a point load 72 kN. It acts at a distance of 4 meter from the left support. The support A sinks by 6 mm. EI is given as 8000 kN meter square. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 4. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 4 minus 2. We will get 2. We know that in the support A, there is a settlement. So from the support A, we have to release the vertical reaction Ra and the moment Ma. When we remove both of them, the point A becomes a free end. Now let us make the coordinates diagram. Let us keep Ra as the first coordinate and the moment Ma as the second coordinate. In these two equations, let us find delta 1 and delta 2, we know that the support A settles by 6 mm. When we divide that by 1000, we will get 0 0.006 meter. So delta 1 is equal to 0 0.006. Since the settlement occurs towards the downside, it should be negative. Let us find delta 2. In the support A, there is no rotation, so delta 2 will be equal to 0. In these two equations, let us apply the values of delta 1 and delta 2, so that we will get these two equations. To find these displacements, we can use unit load method. In the unit load method, first we have to find the moment M. Using the given load, we have to find that. We have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. You can see that I have made two sections, one in AC and one in CB. I have made both of the sections at a distance of X. From the point A, now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. Here there are two members, AC and CB. Let us enter them. Let us enter the origin. For both of these two sections, the origin is A. Let us enter that. Now let us enter the limits. For the member AC, it is 0 to 4 and for the member CB it is 4 to 6. Now we are going to find the moment M. We have to find the moments from the point A. In this case we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Let us find the moment in AC. In AC up to the section there is no load, so the moment will be 0. Now let us find the moment M in CB. Up to the section, there is only one load, that is the point load 72. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 4. Now we are going to find the moment M1. For that in the first coordinate direction, we have to apply unit load. Our first coordinate is RA. So in the direction of RA, we have to apply unit load. You can see that I have applied unit load in the direction of RA. Now let us find M1 up to both of the sections. We have only the unit load. The unit load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. 
for both of the sections the distance is x 1 into x we will get x now we are going to find the moment m2 our second coordinate is ma we have kept ma in the anticlockwise direction to find m2 we have to apply unit movement in the direction of ma you can see that i have applied unit movement in the direction of ma now let us find m2 up to both of the sections there is no load only we have the unit movement it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative now let us find delta 1l the formula is integration of m m1 upon ei dx for the member ac the value of m is 0 so no need to make the integration we can directly enter 0 from cb let us apply the values of m and m1 the limit in cb is 426 now we can take a calculator and do the integration when we integrate we will get minus 768 upon ei now let us find delta 2l the formula is integration of m m2 upon ei dx from cb let us apply the values of m and m2 after integrating we will get 144 upon ei now let us find delta 11 the formula is integration of m1 square upon ei dx in ac and cb both of the values of m1 is same also ei is a constant in this case we can use a shortcut no need to make two times integration we can do only one integration for that we have to apply the limit 0 to 6 for delta 11 we will get a 72 upon ei now let us find delta 12 and delta 21 both of them having the same formula integration of m1 m2 upon ei dx the values of m2 also same for both ac and cb so here also we can use the shortcut minus 1 into x we will get minus x for delta 1 2 and delta 2 1 we will get minus 18 upon ei now let us find delta 2 2 the formula is integration of m2 square upon ei dx using the shortcut we can easily find delta 2 2 which is 6 upon ei in both of these two equations we have found all of the displacements first let us take this equation in this equation let us apply the values of delta 1 1 delta 1 2 and delta 1 l in this equation we can multiply all of the terms by ei then we can eliminate ei only in this term we cannot eliminate ei we know the value of ei 8000 8000 into 0 0.006 we will get 48 we can add these two values we will get a 720 now in this equation let us apply the values of delta 2l delta 21 and delta 22 from both of these two terms we can take 1 upon ei outside then we can eliminate this ei and this ei finally we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number 2 now we can take a calculator and solve these two equations so that we will get ra and ma now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find rb for rb we will get 56 kilonewton now let us take a moment about to b and find mb ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. This point load is acting in the anticlockwise direction 
so it is also negative and the distance is uh, true let us assume that mp is acting in the clockwise uh, direction so that it will be positive finally for mp we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct mp is acting in the clockwise uh, direction here you can see the shear force calculations here you can see the shear force uh, diagram now let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Now let us find the bending moment in the point C. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. For the bending moment at C, we will get 40 kN meter. To find the bending moment in the point B, we can use left hand side rule. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can make sections in the beam and find the distances. You can see that I have made two sections. The first section I have made at a distance of x from the point A. The second section also I have made at a distance of x from the point B. In this section, we can use the right hand side rule and find the value of x. And in this section, we can use the left hand side rule and find the value of x. Let us apply both of the values. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.